Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing off the new Arc browser for Windows. Arc browser is this new type of browser that runs on Chromium, which has mainly a sidebar as its interface. Rather than Chrome and Edge where the tabs are at the top, you get a new productivity style with spaces and pin tabs on the side, plus folders and other favorites. I'll be going over all the features soon, and this is their website where you can download it for Windows 11. Right now, Windows 11 is officially supported, and the app just left beta, and there's also a mobile app which I'll be showing at the end of the video. First, we can go ahead and install Arc Browser on Windows. Currently, the new Arc Browser has support for Arc Sync, where you can sync them across macOS and your iPhone. And this is the iPhone app here. As of right now, the Windows app does not have all the features that the macOS app has, but I will be showing what it does have right now. First, go ahead and download it from the website and you'll see a setup window like this. Once it's finished installing, you'll be greeted with the screen with the Arc logo. Here you can go ahead and create your account. And if you already have one from your macOS installation, you can go ahead and sign it with the same account. Make sure it's the same account so that your tabs sync across macOS and uh, your mobile app if you do choose to use that. Once you create a new account, you'll be created with the Arc Basics. It'll be a folder in your default space. So a default space is essentially its own window where you can have all of your pin tabs above the line and below the line are your current tabs. Here you can click through and see all the guides and the different features of Arc, OS, Arc Browser. At the top, those are your favorites tabs. These are going to be pinned here permanently no matter what space you're in and you can access them anytime. Now say I want to go to a website, you'll see it is now below the line where the pin tabs are. You can drag that up to your favorites where it'll be across all spaces or you can drag it into your pin tabs. Now I'm going to create a new space so you can see that in action. You can go ahead and name it whatever you like and you can also change the profile and theme of the space. Right now you don't have the options for a gradient color scheme such as on macOS where you can select any gradient. Right now these are the only options you have between light and dark theme, the color, and the brightness. Later I'll also be showing the uh, Mika and acrylic features where the darkness and the transparency of the background will be different. So now we can go ahead and create it. As you can see you can also uh, add your custom icons now. So to do that, you can go ahead and right click and to change the name, you can also rename that way or double click on the name up there. Once you're done renaming, you can go ahead and hit enter. Here to change it, you can right click and then click change space icon. You can use any emoji uh, on the Windows emoji pack to change it. And this uh, feature will also be synced across macOS. So your space icons will be shown on macOS and the mobile app. Now for the other settings, you can click the arc icon and then here you can see all your other settings such as a search engine and then archive tabs. So the archive tabs feature is anything that's not a pin tab, such as your today tabs or the tabs below the line. Those are the tabs that will be archived by default. So those will be uh, archived after 12 hours by default, or you can change this to 30 days and they will be automatically cleared. If you don't want anything to be cleared, you can move it up to your pin tabs by just dragging the tab that you're in above the line. And then back in the settings here, you can change that setting, the archive tabs after, and you can also change your downloads folder and other features. If you click advanced search settings, you'll be greeted with the Chromium default settings page. So since uh, Arc runs on Chromium, you can change all of your other settings here. Many of them, uh, they don't have the same feature set as Chrome because Arc will be taking over some of it based on their settings. But as you can see, the other features are here. Here you can change your cookies, clear browsing data and other items. And then the other setting that I wanted to show y'all was the acrylic and Mika settings. So to do that, you, uh, you can also turn on sidebar sync here. 
I recommend saving this in case you lose access to your account. You will need this code to sync it. So just save it anywhere you'd like. By default, it saves in your documents folder. And then finally, the window backdrop. So if you change to acrylic, you might not see much of a difference between Mika and acrylic if you're using the fully darkened uh, color scheme. So to change that, go ahead and go back to arc and then As you can see, Mika, it only takes into consideration the wallpaper that you have and nothing else. Right now I'm on acrylic, so you can still see the other window in the background. It looks closer to glass. And then if I change it to Mika, you can't see the other window. Now you can only see the wallpaper bleeding through. Personally, I prefer acrylic, but it does use more battery than Mika. So if you're on a laptop, you would probably want to use Mika and acrylic can be used on the desktop. And here, this is just a fun little art card and a little bit of personalization if you'd like. And that's pretty much it for the settings. Since uh, Arc for Windows does not have the AI features that macOS has yet, but they do plan to add it on the uh, Arc timeline. So you can always Google the Windows for Arc timeline and you can see the other features that will be added soon. And then if you'd like, you can see incognito windows and the update features are right here. And finally, if you'd like to add an extension, you can always add it from the Chrome Web Store since it does run on Chromium. All of your other extensions that you use on Chrome or even Microsoft Edge can be transferred here. And that's it for now. I'm going to go ahead and show you the Arc Search mobile app now. To go ahead and download, you can just find it on the App Store. And the Arc Search mobile app does have a lot more of the AI features that the macOS version has, and it is much closer to the feature set that the full version has. As you can see, one of the main features is the Browse for Me option. So uh, similar to Google's Gemini features, instead of being in Google, Arc Search will do it for you, and you can click Browse for Me there. You can also pinch to summarize, so if you're on a web page, you can pinch on the website and it'll summarize the entire web page. And it also has a built-in ad blocking and cookie tracker blocking. You can set it as your default browser, as you can see here. And now say I want to uh, know about creative pizza toppings, I can click browse for me and it'll pull all of these websites that you can see at the top and you can use them as sources and then it'll summarize all of them for you and then show it on one page. And then you might get this pop-up to sync Arc. You can go ahead and sign in with the same account that you have on desktop. And to do that, you can go ahead and sign in. And to see your tabs from your desktop, you click the computer icon and you can see your different spaces. So you can see uh, if you'd like to open one of the tabs in your spaces, you could just click on it and it'll open it in a new tab, but it doesn't affect any of your pin tabs. But if you would like to pin a new tab to that space, you can always go to a website and then click the arrow icon and then click the pin. And then you can pin it to uh, any of the spaces that you have. And then you can go back and check in the tab switcher. As you can see, you can see Outlook and Teams there. And then similarly to Google Assistant or Google Gemini, you can type in any query and click uh, browse for me and it'll do the same thing that I showed off before and give you the results right here. I have made no cuts in the processing of the info. So as you can see, Arc Search does a pretty good job of giving you results quickly. And uh, of course it will be dependent on your Wi-Fi speed and you can also do the pinch to search. It doesn't always work the first time since sometimes there are errors in scanning the web page, but most of the time it does work here and you can see all the info given to you. And then to close tabs, you can click the tab switcher here and it's similar to the iPhone app switcher where they're each shown as a card and you can just swipe up to close them. And then to open the incognito mode, you can always click the eye icon there. 
Here you can see the settings of the app. You can change your search engine and even your app icon on the app screen. Here for default site settings, you can turn off the ad blocker, cookie banners, and uh, the swiping to navigate. I prefer screen edges since it's similar to the other iPhone features. Here you can see the archive or history as we saw on the desktop version, and you can also see the downloads folder from here. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below.